Indian Council Act of 1909, 1919, and three rounds. Professor Shankar Dasu, someone allowed to take Sanskrit as one of the subjects. Gives not oral testimony, gives a written testimony. And most of the volumes that we find today, most of the time I used to discuss with uh, Professor Ramaya, how did Ambedkar, where did he get a time to write this? Ambedkar never, like I came to my father, not a humanity to experience the dignity, self-respect, and all these things. It is in that quest, actually, our side had written so much of, produced so much of literature that we can see that uh, one person in one lifetime can what kind of a social transformation that he can bring. So given this kind of a, uh, a reality, Baba said wanted to draw attention of the British government to the lack of social endosmosis. A sociological concept that Baba Sahib Ambedkar is using here as a student of anthropology in Columbia University, any anthropological and sociological writings, social endosmosis refers to fraternity. Do Indians have fraternity? Do they interact, communicate with each other on equal footing? Or it is there is something which stops them from interacting and Meeting with each other. And he brings to the notice of the Britishers that what Indian society lacks is the social endosmosis. And it depends upon the extent of communication, participation, or endosmosis. Like mindedness was essential for harmonious life. Harmonious life, both in social and in political domain of life and that is what is lacking a class consciousness is the defining element which is an obstacle in their social interaction with each other as a hindu and poses a greater challenge to settle social endosmosis ambedkar is writing this in his testimony to the south Borough. And then there are a series of arguments that he has This is a distinct entity even in, even in a given Indian social life. And in this primary session, he argued, not only have a separate existence, but they have also assigned, but they have also been assigned to uh, but but they also but they have also assigned to them a statute which is invidiously distinct from the status occupied by any other community in India. He is talking about the untouchables. There are communities in India which occupy a lower and subordinate position, but the position assigned to them, the depressed classes, is totally different. It is one which is midway between the between that of the serf and the slaves, and which may, for convenience, be called survive. With this difference, that the serf and the slaves were permitted to have physical contact, from which the depressed classes are barred. The serf kind of a comparison that Baba Sahib Ambedkar is uh, doing with the. the European kind of a serf and servile classes. What is worse, that this enforced servility and bar to human intercourse due to their untouchability involves not merely the possibility of discrimination in public life, but actually works out as a positive denial of all equality of opportunity and the denial of those most elementary of civil rights on which all human existence depends. This is Baba Sahib arguing in 